There are about 3 million cases of inflammatory bowel disease in the US and around 50% of them are Crohn's disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Ramnik Zavia. I'm professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, gastroenterologist and director of the Center for the Study of Inflammatory Bowel Disease at Massachusetts General Hospital. Crohn's disease, unlike ulcerative colitis, can affect any part of the gastrointestinal or GI tract all the way from your oral cavity to the end of your GI tract. The GI tract is responsible for digestion of food, absorption of nutrients, elimination of waste, and is a firewall, a defense system that stops pathogens and toxins from getting into our body. Crohn's disease causes inflammation and scarring that impairs the ability of the GI organ to function properly. This leads to symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and tiredness. And depending on the location where Crohn's disease presents, you can also have rectal pain, bleeding, and symptoms suggestive of gut blockage. Today, Crohn's disease is typically treated with biologics which control inflammation immune system suppressing medications, and in late stage disease surgery. Mass General Brigham has been a leader in identifying the genetic contributions of Crohn's disease, defects in the immune system, and gut microbiome. These all play a big role in understanding the underlying causes of Crohn's disease. So what does this mean? This means that we can take this knowledge and tailor treatments for the individual patient. What we have learned at Mass General Brigham, Crohn's disease is not one disease, but in fact, many subtypes of disease. With these biologics, we can target and correct the specific defects in the immune system and the abnormalities in the gut function that contribute to the disease. So if you think of it as if you have version one of Crohn's disease, you can use biologic one that targets the immune system. And version two of Crohn's disease, use biologic two that prevents scarring and so on and so forth. So treating Crohn's disease is no longer a shot in the dark. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Ramnik Xavier. For another video on Crohn's disease, click here. And to learn more about Crohn's disease and IBD, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.